Hello and welcome. Today we are talking about this thing here. This is one example. This is a digital multimeter. Okay. Digital multimeter. Here we already see some data, which is quite interesting. Yeah. Short to explain. What is it? How is it operating? Usually you have some big selector. Yeah? And you can select between different things. If I want to select voltage, I select voltage. Yeah? Usually it's DC, you see it here DC. Or I can switch to AC, then it would measure AC. There's also something else written, true RMS. This means true root mean square, which means it will produce the real, a real effective value. Yeah? Not only valid for sinus waves. If it's not a true RMS, then it would only show the correct effective value if you have if you measure sine waves. And a different waveform it would do something else. Yeah? So here this one I can select it's turned off. I can select volt, I can select millivolt. Yeah, there's a different different uh pre circuit yeah volt and millivolt I can select ohm yeah I can select diode different things I can measure Hertz oh, how many how many uh, Hertz I have got I can select micro ampere milliampere ampere and I can select watts yeah? in watts I would need to use all plugs. The COM plug is the common. That's basically the ground. I do have here such cables, measuring cables. They look like this. Black one you put usually in ground. Let's measure voltage. Let's measure voltage. Black one to ground. And if we measure voltage, I have to use this one. These are for micro and milliampere and this is for ampere. 10 ampere maximum and here 400 milliamps maximum. So red one here. Now it's a voltmeter. Let's see if this is working. Let's see if this is working. I do have here my, my uh, rectifier. Power supply, plug it in now, then we should see DC OK, looks good, yeah. and if I measure here DC parallel, I switch my, my, uh, my measuring system in parallel to the thing I want to measure, I want to measure the voltage between here and here. So I just touch the screws. I see 24.7 volts. Okay. Another output of this of this uh, power supply. Uh, it's a 24 volt power supply, which as input has input has standard voltage 230 volts AC and producing 24 volt DC. We can even measure here this 230 volt and then we see oh it's measuring looks strange two volts why is this because we are in DC we are in DC and as we know the we now measure the mean value and the standard mean value of an alternating current is zero yeah, or two volts. Now I change to AC. There's even warning blinking. Yeah, this means hey, ooh, you're touching a, a deadly, a potential deadly source. And we see we have 231 point something volts. Yeah? So 230 volts. Okay. And we can even select Hertz. Yeah? We can even select Hertz. Aha, now the battery start, start, hertz, 
50 hertz. Okay. Working pretty good. So, this is how it working. How it is working. If I want to measure current, yeah, I would have to plug in to milliampere or microampere or ah hear this beep this is also a good feature of this one because I have selected Hertz and he expects Hertz here and it checks I have plugged in here yeah it warns me because if I want if I would now touch parallel like before I would destroy at least the fuse which is inside but if I'm selecting here ampere it is silent okay how is this working yeah in the last videos I told you something about moving coil and moving iron there is no coil there is no iron I give in some voltage and I get out some number. Quite interesting. How is this done? This I want to show you. Now, clear my desk a little bit. Of course, I have a sheet of paper. So there is a voltage coming in. And here I have a so-called ADC, yeah, an analog digital converter. This analog digital converter converts an input voltage, this is here, yeah, into some number, okay, into some number, uh, and this number we can see on the display. Basically, it always, it, the input is always a voltage, a voltage signal. That's these things, they have this pretty much in common with, with the standard multimeters. If I'm selecting volts here, it's clear than this volt. Yeah? However, there is then maybe some, some circuit in which will reduce the volts to smaller values. Yeah? Then there's millivolts, then maybe I switch off and I have it directly connected. Yeah? If I'm using ampere or milliampere or something like this, there would be internally some defined resistor and the ampere is running over this resistor and I measure the voltage drop at this resistor. Okay. The number I see is always the voltage which is derived directly from voltage or directly or, or indirectly from our resistor by current. Yeah. Then this ADC is measuring always the voltage and giving me a number and this number here is displayed we've heard that there is something like a resolution of our ADC yeah. this describes and how many different numbers I get out of my measuring range yeah. and here if you look on this on this uh, multimeter here there you see there is written on 40,000 counts 40,000 counts you see it here 40,000 counts this means my measuring range here is divided into 40,000 values okay if I'm measuring in the range of, I can select the range here. If I'm measuring in the range of, let's say, 0 to 20 volts, I divide this in 40,000 
yeah, 40,000 values, so we have 20 volts divided by 40,000. Yeah, this is zuck, zuck, yeah. 2, 2 divided by 4, this is 1 divided by 2,000. Yeah, this is this is thousandstel is a millivolt, 0 0.5 millivolt. These are the steps. 0 0.5 millivolt are the steps from one to another at a measuring range of 20 volts. Okay. And the maximum, the maximum value to be displayed is I can display zero, I can play display 0 0.5 millivolt, I can display 1 millivolt, I can display 1.5 millivolts and so on. And the one I am I can display at most is 19 dot 9 9 and 0 0.5 9 5. Yeah. This is the maximum because this would be the 40th thousandth count. Yeah. Okay. The first value. See, will never reach something bigger than one in this case, if it's 20. Yeah. Bigger than one. This is called half half a digit. All others are full digits. Yeah. Full digits. And here you can see I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This will end. So I have a four, four full digits and one half digit display. One and a half digit, four and a half digit display is this on my on my uh, multimeter here. If I am in the measuring range of let's say 50 volts, yeah, if I'm measuring range of 50 volts, and then I divide it by 40,000, yeah, then there is 5 divided by 4,000. Something else, yeah. Uh, zero dot. Po, 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 po. Uh, fünf Film. Eins Komma fünfundzwanzig. One dot twenty five millivolts. Yeah. By step, this means the maximum value to be displayed is vier dot nine nine eight seven five. Ah, 49. This I'm going to see. Okay. This I'm going to see. Here the half, the half digit is counting up to four. Yeah. So this what whatever this half digit means is derived of the number of counts and the measurement range. Okay. Then you get this get this out. The analog digital converter which is used here. This is usually a dual slope ADC, which is built in here. Yeah. How this is working, there's a separate video uh, about this. You can, you can have a look on it. Basically, that's currently the measurement device which is currently used. Yeah. Digital multimeter Every technician, everyone who measures some something somewhere, yeah, in some cabinet, electric cabinet or whatever, everyone is using these these uh, digital multimeters. Of course, we have seen now turning iron, turning coil measurement systems. We have, you have seen now this multimeter, yeah, you've seen now this digital multimeter. Uh, it's not very, very, all of the systems are not very dynamic, let's say. Yeah? It needs a little time to adapt. You have seen this as a measure, you have seen this. Uh, it will take a while until the correct value is written. Yeah? This is simply because all this procedure is digitize and so on, this needs some time. This needs simply some time and then you get the value presented. And every time it's updated, it will be then once in a while, let's say two times per second. Yeah? However, we have also seen, I measured sinus wave, sinus wave with the 
DC thing, yeah. And we know I measured 50 hertz and I measured uh, an zero volt mean or two point something volt mean and I measured 231 volts effective. Yeah? And since I know this is a sine wave, I could guess how this sine wave is looking. But I'm not measuring the sine wave itself. Yeah? I'm not sure if this is a sine wave. Now I know because it was public, super, public power supply. But what if it's a rectangle? What if it's a triangle? How do I find out the curve form and so on? All those things we've mentioned are far too less dynamic for that. Next time we are talking about an oscilloscope. Okay. Next time we are talking about an oscilloscope, we will learn how this oscilloscope was working and how it is now working. Yeah. Uh, this then can really display curves as they are. Then we see sine waves. Okay. One thing I forgot to mention. One thing I forgot to mention. Uh, as you can see, my my digital multimeter has got a display which is called LCD liquid crystal display. Yeah, very low energy consumption. However, if the light is not that good, yeah, I cannot read it. Yeah, therefore I can turn on a light here. Not even working because we don't see it. Ah, have to. See, I can turn on a light, then I can even turn off my lighting, and with the camera you cannot see anything because it's too bright. Yeah? So there is a background background lighting for this. Yeah? That's one display technology, one display technology, LCD possible. There's also another possibility that's an LED. This means then the seven segment displays they are lightning lightning by their own their own would look like this somehow like this yeah you know this stuff there was a arduino video about this you can watch it if you like uh, needs much more power than this one much more yeah? however there is i can read it always yeah? it's bright enough contrast enough that even in worst lightning conditions, I can read what's written on. That's the big advantage of these things here. However, most most have this LCD type of display. Okay. Yeah. Now really, now we're done. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening. Off.